Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. Today I have The Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash. It was written by Trinka Hakes Noble and the pictures are by Stephen Kellogg. Let's see what happens to the wash. The Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash. Look at that snake. How was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull, until the cow started crying. A cow crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. But a haystack doesn't just fall over. It does if a farmer crashes into it with his tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. Uh, he would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off of our school bus. What were the pigs doing on the bus? Eating our lunches. Why were the pigs eating your lunches? Mm, because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing their corn? Because we ran out of eggs out of eggs, why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he bought it to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it into the hen house? Yeah, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened? Well, one hen got excited and laid an egg, and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen, no, the egg, and it broke. Yucky, all over her hair. What did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it, so she threw one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Mary Ann in the face. So, she threw one at Jenny, but she missed and hit Jimmy, who dropped his boa constrictor. Oh, and I know, the next thing you knew, everyone was throwing eggs, right? All right. And when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? We never found out because Mrs. Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. I bet Jimmy was sad because he left his pet boa constrictor. Oh, uh, not really. We left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get it off the bus. So now, he's got a pet pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose, if you're the kind of kid who likes to go and take class trips to the farm. The end. And if you look closely, looks like the farmer's wife is making a sweater for that boa constrictor. And that was the day Jimmy's boa ate the wash. See you next time, boys and girls.